to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Blessed is she that believes. For there shall be a performance to who? The one who believed, not the one who heard. The one who believed, not the one who read. The one who believed, not just the one who heard that this can happen. Please hear me. Right here is the condition that many believers have not studied. That as powerful as the word of God is, whether it is the speakings of God, his thoughts, logos, that even if Jesus were to come here right now, physically, you would think if Jesus were to come here and says, Apostle, go and sit down, I am Jesus, you will be surprised how many people will still not be healed. How many people will still not be changed? Because sometimes we give a narrative as though if Jesus suddenly showed up here, every problem will automatically vanish. I agree with you potentially but if this condition is not met he tried it when he walked upon the earth are we driving safely what then is this condition that is so powerful that the word of God that created everything can stand helpless the Bible says blessed is she that believes Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you, Shabala Supradia. I believe in you. Sing it one more time. Now you are not just singing a song. Jesus, the Son of God, I believe. Apostle, so this is the reason why I do not see extraordinary results. It is not impotency on the part of the word. Everything God told you, either directly through your ears or through scripture or through his prophets is potent. But you have failed to create the condition that makes for the supernatural to work. Please listen. God brought you to church to show you the one thing that many of us may have been missing. No wonder for some of us right now, you are even angry because you feel every man of God is lying to you. Why is it that I travel everywhere from redemption camp to this to everywhere and nothing happens? Yet you are seeing in that same place there are other testimonies coming. And do you know something? Strangely, I don't know, I hope it does not happen that way here. Most people who are closer to the anointing and the vessel seem to be the ones that never receive. They were rubbing on Jesus. I'm coming there. And a woman with the issue of blood said, I don't have time to waste. You are seeing him every day. But my uncleanliness, I'm a stranger. You are rubbing on him. You sleep on the same bed. But as for me, this is a chance that I have. If I miss out on it and she touched the hem of his garment and Jesus said stop something has happened power flows from the word don't forget because the power that will flow to you tonight is coming from that word Jesus said among the many people trivializing my presence there is somebody who has seen the value somebody created the condition that means this condition is so powerful that even if you do not talk directly to him, provided the condition was there, Jesus did not intend to heal her. No, 
This is not about his will. This is about the condition. The moment that power saw that there was faith. So that's what it is called. Faith. Ah. Please sit down. Hebrews 11 and verse 1. So that is what it is called. Faith. Now, faith is. Now, 11 and verse 1 Hebrews. Now, faith is. He calls it the substance of the things you hope for and the evidence of the things not seen. Hallelujah. It says, for by it, it is not the word that is it, it is the faith that is it. For by it, the elders obtained. Don't worry about what they obtained. It's just that they obtained. Then verse 3, he now begins to put scripture in perspective. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. Now the equation is getting complete. It was the word of God that made it happen. But what, what is the condition? Through faith we understand that the word of God, the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things that are seen were not made of things which do appear. So faith becomes the connecting line between unseen realities. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to teach you something. It is not faith that produces the miracle. Faith is what connects you to the source of the power. Look at this. There are wires here if you can see. The, the light does not come from the wire. But the wire, the light must come through the wire because the wire has a unique ability of stretching till it reaches the source. This speaker may not be able to be connected to the source, but you can put a wire and draw it no matter how far it will get there. That's your faith. Listen carefully, please. That the supernatural is an interplay, number one, between the word of God and the spirit of God. Number two, between your faith and the anointing. Your faith, the interplay between your faith in the word of God and the anointing is what produces the supernatural. The anointing can be there, but if your faith does not create the condition. Pastor, for a long time, we've had a dichotomy in the body of Christ as to which is superior. So there are people who choose faith. And there are those who choose anointing or power. There is no such teaching in scripture. That the faith of God and the power of God have always worked in synergy to produce God's dimension of results. You can't say I have power and then I have faith. No, that's not scriptural. It's like saying I have light or nepa or whatever electricity. And another person says I have the wire. Both of you can stand helpless. I'm holding the fuse, all right? Power the mic, let's see. Another person says, I'm holding the wire. Both of you will be frustrated eventually. For one, you will keep being shocked by light that does not give you anything. For one, you will hold a long wire that is a real wire but not producing anything. But when two of them come together, they now produce the light. You see the potency of what was coming from the power holding company when it is connected. So if you put your trust in faith, should I say this? Your trust is not in faith. Your trust is in Jesus. I hope you know the concept of faith can also be idolatry. Faith is not what died for you. Uh -uh. Faith is not what blesses you. Faith is a spiritual mechanism that connects you to the power of God. Hmm. 
I'm sure some of you are wondering and saying this man again. Listen, I'm like a mechanic fixing a car tonight. We're just identifying the areas. The reason why we say a lot of things and it does not happen. I'm showing you where the problem is. Because there are people who our confidence is in the concept of faith. Not the God of heaven. So you believe because the Bible says things like this is the victory that overcomes even our faith. Uh -uh. The focus is not the faith. The focus is the person. The Bible is speaking to those who are, have already been built and mentored in a certain way. So it is free to say certain things expecting that the people will understand the context. Are we together? Mm. Faith. What is faith? Faith is the name given to the action that you take. Faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction of who God is and the integrity of his person. Faith is the name given to the action of obedience in fact that you take. In one word, faith is obedience more than confession. Confessing in disobedience is not faith. In one word, faith is obedience. And without action, there cannot be obedience. The performance of the word of God is highly dependent on obedience. We are breaking down the entire concept of faith. Faith in one word is obedience to the conditions that have been put that activates that promise of God. Listen to me. Every promise of God has a condition attached to it. Your Bible study is not complete just by knowing the promise. You must know the condition connected to it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. The Bible says, It shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Is it, is it in your Bible? It says to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. Now look at the promises. He will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2, it says, And all these blessings shall come on thee. Who is the thee? The thee who hearkens and does. Not the thee who just hears. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Are we blessed? Now, let me illustrate something just one time. Let me use this handkerchief for... No, no, let me not use handkerchief. Let me use something. Please forgive me, but let me just use this. Somehow, when you use money, people understand. Now, look at this. Are we together? Now, watch this. Let me have any well-dressed, responsible-looking gentleman. Are you here? Anyone? Come. Please stand here, my friend. Watch this. If I tell him, this is the promise I am making. Everybody say the promise. the promise. What is the promise? That I will give him a thousand naira. Do you agree with me? But the condition is that you must believe in me enough to walk and come to me. Are you getting it now? So what is the promise that I will give you this? Is that true? What is the condition? Now, gentlemen, do anything you want to do in response to this, but don't come. Are you ready? Whether it's to speak, whether it's to jump, whether it's to cry. I want to show you what a lot of us keep doing. Are you ready? Go ahead. I'm still standing here with integrity. This is it. He's kneeling down. He's going around, he's acting, he's even talking, he's worrying, he's discussing, maybe adding herbal list from it and doing everything. And here I'm standing. I spoke to him in 2014. It has become 2016. It has become 2018. It has become 2019. Now hold on. From a referee standpoint, who does not have integrity? But based on what, if you cannot see me and you listen to him, you will hate me because of his condition. And yet he's reading every day that I love him 
I am kind, I am gracious and compassionate. And here I've been standing with that promise. You wanted to come before, stand up. I want, now that you know this, come and stand here. To the point that this man has come to join him in the same request. And now, he now heard the condition, run and come and collect this. Now, this guy gets, oh dear. Please help him. Sorry. This, this was not part of the, 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 the drama. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, watch this. Watch this. God bless you. Ah, please give him a seed, though, for falling down like this. I mean, that is the favor of God. Now, but watch this. Are, are you learning something? Please don't waste what we are discussing. Hold on. Just keep him there. Just keep him there. This guy has been there for 10 years. Time does not automatically make the word of God work. And this guy just came from nowhere, you say. How did this guy just come from nowhere? And now he's coming to receive. Because the one who obeyed is the one who walked in the experience of it. Listen, let me tell you at what point Mary became pregnant. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. I agree. I am ready to take the responsibility. Be it unto me. So when God says, I will lift you. As you say amen, that's just part one. You remain there, you will be surprised. Your next prayer is, Lord, what is my role of obedience to commit that performance? This is why I came tonight. To show you the missing link that as powerful as the word of God is there were people Jesus did not heal in the crusade that means when Jesus said stand up they sat down and they were watching when you read Acts chapter 3 when they passed gate beautiful the Bible says they saw that man who was lame is that in your Bible and then it says silver and gold I do not have but such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Read your Bible well. He sat down there. The miracle did not happen. Go to verse 7. The Bible says he took him. He helped his faith to walk. The guy sat down there. And the power of God was in the air. I can imagine angels saying, don't waste this moment. Peter had to say, I have to help you. Hold my hands. The Bible says he took him by the hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength he would have sat down there and peter says all right god bless you and he would have written a book god is not faithful so says my experience listen why am i sharing with you all these things that i'm sharing with you you can be like this man tonight or this man for some of you, you were like this man since 1995. Everything God told you, he said in your lifetime, there are people who have died and never saw what God said. When they get to heaven and say, God, you are not faithful. That the Jew spoke to me through you. I mean, you spoke through him to me. And God said, from the time he spoke, the power to make it good was there. But you did not understand that it is she that believes. For some of you from day one words have come and you've been shouting I hate to be a bearer of bad news but if not that God is bridging this knowledge now you will be surprised that seven days will come and pass and you will go back and say pastor I don't understand is it that the witchcraft of my life is so terrible is it that the altar no the word of God looks as weak as your unbelief allows it so please you have to understand what i'm teaching you so our father the patriarch abraham god meets an idol worshiper from or of the chaldeans the bible says and he gives him an instruction come out of your father's house and out of your kindred and out of everyone to a land that i will show you what did abraham do obedience he didn't understand everything but he left in faith. When we get to chapter 22, he said, Abraham,
take now thy son even thy only son whom thou lovest take him to one of the mountains and offer him as a sacrifice the bible says abraham arose early and carried his son in faith ask any man today who you have seen the manifest power of god in their life there was no guarantee anywhere somewhere in the equation of their life they had to trust him I easily remember my own life and I continue to see what God has done in and through my life today to the glory of his name can I tell you it is not because what he told me is different from what he told anybody I chose to become like this man when I got here I found many people standing there giving complaints and getting angry and saying join the queue God does not answer prayers and I said no there has to be something about God and the Spirit of God helped me to say listen more than what he has said it is what you do about what he has said that makes what he has said come to pass as for the Word of God eternally it carries the power of God is someone learning hear me believers those following online and those in this place I took out time to add this drama on stage only to describe the two categories of people we have in this place right now there are those who are right here category one everything God has told you has not come to pass or by chance it looks like others come to pass I'm explaining to you the few that have come to pass were the few that you acted on even if you did not know that was what you were doing for instance the dimension of power that you had seen in your life that came through the ministry of prayer and even with fasting because the Bible lets us know that these dimensions, these spiritual activities carry power. So you were just praying every day, one hour, two hour, fasting every day. And you began to find out that the power of God was growing. For you it was unconscious, yet your obedience was triggering the manifestation of the word. Are we together? There are many wicked people today with bumper harvests in their farm. Because once it is rainy season, they obey. And there is a dimension of the power of God that has been invested in his laws. It is true that they are terrorists and they are wicked people. But with respect to farming, they are obedient. And as they farm, they now allow the God of all flesh to reign. Who reigns upon the good and the bad. And he reigns. Righteousness is not a condition for that harvest. It can only be an accelerator. That's why even though they are in that condition, God will still honor his word because they acted. The Bible says, is any man afflicted? What is the condition? Let him pray. The last time you were afflicted, prayer was the last thing you did. You ran to everybody and you were complaining. And at the end of your complaint, you say, God, are you still watching me like this? For the rest of your time this year, remember my example. There is one with unbending integrity, standing with your promise. And saying, I am ever committed if you are ready to find out the condition there are those who want to rise financially pastor and they will tell you superstitiously i know one day god will do it see what one day does i've shown you you've seen the tragedy of one day it go better that is only a wise saying that does not carry any power i'm about to pray for you right now and there are those who will go and open the bible and say lord i know it is your desire to prosper me but now you see when the wealthy man came to jesus he said good master what must i do that's a responsible man talking jesus had to tell him no no, no. when he has to do with salvation it's not this one you have to just believe he was he was ready to say what is my role so you search scripture your Bible study has not ended until 
you find out your participatory point of obedience connected to every promise please do not just begin to rejoice when you find out what god has said it will remain what he has said in the realm of the spirit if the word must become flesh what makes the word become flesh is your believing blessed is she that believes luke 1 45 for unto her there shall be a performance hallelujah so i search my bible and i find out there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth meat and more than his meat and tends to poverty that giving is connected to prosperity i don't say mm, i've gotten it you will remain poor there i now obtain grace from god listen this is where the ministry of grace comes grace does not always do it for you it can empower you beyond your natural strength to do there is saving grace there is enabling grace this is what has has put the body of christ perpetually in the place of failure if you ask me to lift this with one hand this is too heavy for one hand ordinarily is that true the assignment of grace is not to take away your hand and lift it uh -uh. the assignment of grace is to empower you unusually but the lifting will be from you so ordinarily i would not be able to empty my account for the gospel but when that giving grace comes now i can empty my account and still be happy and say lord the bible says there is he that scattereth i have done this at the point of your obedience the word of god now produces a material called the power of god listen in that light habakkuk chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 is the hiding place of his power the power of god hides in his light verse 4 if we look at it from amplified it says the brightness of that light the ray streamed from his hand and in that sun-like splendor was the hiding place of his power now if later on in this man's life he came for seven days of glory and he's realizing that God told me I will be a great man of God and take the gospel to the nations. Lord, but why has my ministry not grown? The Holy Spirit now begins to show him that he has not cooperated with the word of God. What word? Number one, study to show yourself approved. A workman unto God, rightly dividing the word. Are we together? Mm. So he begins to show him the various things he has not done. And this person obtains grace and starts doing it. Sometimes, walk slow and come. It's now your time to receive. This is what is happening to someone tonight. You may leap, but make sure you are walking. Gradually. While he's coming, we can be laughing at him. Shame on you. Ten years in church. Yet you don't know that seven days of glory is doing something in his life. That at the end of seven days, finally. Here's your point now. Look at this. He will now receive this. This is his own now. And he can now sing Pastor Nat's song and say, see what the Lord has done. And all the mockers and the naysayers who say you would die with this, your church and Christianity thing. Suddenly, now you know what is missing. Man of God, it is not the word of God that lies to you. <clears throat> Someone prophesies over a woman who has been barren and say in the name of Jesus Christ, you will have a child she says amen the husband says amen and two of them don't go back home and say i'm not talking of going back home to agree and say the same way god spoke we hold our hands and we agree that by this time next month you are that act of agreement is now their participatory the holy ghost is the first witness there as they are agreeing according to what the man of god said let me tell you why many people receive from our father in the lord and others don't in that campground or everywhere while baba is speaking there are others who are just watching and happy amen and laugh at the testimonies there are others who return home and say father i've been in this situation i believe in you and i believe in your servant he has spoken 
you have spoken through him because the voice of God to Samuel always comes through the voice of Eli Lord I obtain grace oh he gave an instruction he said everyone should dance and celebrate Lord I'm not good in dancing that's not the issue he didn't ask you if you're a dancer now you are celebrating and singing that song and a script is marked in the realm of the spirit that gate is opened and you will find out after two weeks someone will come and say i did not apply for a job and somebody said i will make you the african representative of my company and another person is angry there saying but i, I live here Finally, two of them have received. And this is our prayer tonight. That all those who have been in this category, wishing and waiting and hoping and wondering, there are many powerful men of God who may never rise. Because all they do is just amen, amen, and yet do not understand. There are many visionary, listen, now I'm going to say this, I say this to the glory of God, but he knows I'm so fond of him. My dear friend and brother, Pastor Nat, there is almost no time that you come and talk with him and you see that either he's written a new song or he's done something, he's doing a new work. Don't say God is just lifting him. A word came for everybody. But the one who took that word to the studio and took that word, training with his team day and night, that is the one that the power of God moved over. Are you getting what I'm saying now? every man of god receive fire amen somebody will receive it and go and say father thank you for this fire i dedicate myself to three or five hours of study and of prayer and of consecration while you are doing that the power of god begins to gravitate towards you another person listens and says okay fine i've gotten it thank i know that man of god is not fake jesus was not fake but he still did not get some things done Hallelujah. When I listen to a man of God, I'm not just listening to him declare what God has said. Most times what he's saying you may have heard before. The real miracle in that sermon is finding the missing link. Why is the word of God not working for me? Aha. This is it. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And we'll wrap up. Gentlemen, I pray for you. God will honor you in the name of Jesus. The same way you have received this, it's not just money you received. May God grant you favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, wealth will meet wealth in your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua 1 and verse 8. Hmm. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night many of you have done that first part congratulations for being diligent to meditate but it does not stop there that thou mayest observe to do according not to do the way you want to do according listen if god says honor your father and your mother and your days may be long if you want to use money as honor and you remove money and give our father here you count it as if you are bribing him 200 naira daddy god bless you that is donation not honor just because you gave money does not mean the blessings will come somebody who is thoughtful you put it in an envelope you go and say daddy they gave the same thing but the conditions remember conditions While the chef is in the kitchen making, we're back to our making again. There is fire under creating the condition for the boiling to happen, for the frying to happen. You don't see the fire under. You may just see the pot and you see things working. Every time you see things working, check down. There is another dimension that is creating conditions. From the start of that cooking till it finishes in most cases, you will see fire 
So you are looking at a life excelling. All you are seeing is the food. Check well. There are practices of obedience, covenants of consecration, and many things that are being done. You can mix the same thing, but if there is no agency that creates the condition, so you can buy a trumpet too, like God's servant, and blow it and you'll be surprised how people will say you are disturbing us. <laughs> this is not a place for boys' brigade. And you say, what is the meaning of this? And yet someone else is blowing that shofar. If you think the power is in the trumpet, you have missed it. Remember, as the food is happening, there is something, women, you understand this. Yes. When you see a woman gets pregnant, the first thing that happens to the woman is her pregnancy begins to bring her into a condition that makes it favorable for the baby. Is that true? There are some, the determination to create that condition can even necessitate a bed rest for as much as nine months. You don't see the woman out again. And you say, where is this woman? We've not been seeing her. There is something she's carrying. It's not about the womb. It's about the condition. The seed is already there, but the seed can die. What do you call barrenness? Barrenness is not necessarily the absence of the seed. The inability for the reproductory conditions to allow fertilization and conception. Biology, am I right? Yes, so you can be receiving the seed of the word of God. And you have refused to allow your life create that condition. For some of you, the condition is sin. For some of you, the condition is the flesh that you have been creating that has been fighting the word of God. For some of you, the condition is pride. For some of you, the condition is an I do no mentality. What else can God show me? Aha. Not knowing that even in heaven you can come up hither. For some of you, the condition you have been creating is dishonor. When a man of God is speaking, you are checking his English, checking his clothes, and saying, oh, no, this, this guy should not be speaking to me. Not knowing that if it's God that has commanded it, even a fish can carry coin. You can be looking for coins, and fishes are jumping out of the water. And you say, no, coins, come, I'm, I'm an intelligent person. I understand mining. I need to know where gold is. And God says, I can put fish everywhere. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. By the privilege of God's grace, I have seen miracles in my life. And I say this to the glory of God. I have seen the power of God move. I have seen God do unimaginable things. Behind the mighty things that you see is a very small man with a sincere faith that doggedly obeys. If it be thou, bid me come. He didn't say, Peter, come. He said, come. Anybody who obeyed would have walked on water. If he said, Peter, come, we will say you are biased. If it be thou, bid me come. He said, Peter, mm -mm, come. And Peter took the step. Do you know the risk? That was not a little lake that children were playing in. And when he puts his feet, I'm sure other people, Thomas was saying, you must be stupid. You, be, you are wasting the wisdom of your adulthood. And he took that step and he began to walk. The same way God is going to be speaking to someone to lay your hands where that sickness is. And once he's saying that, what you studied in the university will be saying, listen, don't be a fool. You graduated with first class. Remember, and the simplicity of the gospel. For somebody who just lay their hands, and right there, that will be the end of it. I have seen God tell me to obey foolish instructions. And in those instructions came power and defining moments in my life. Why do you tell an army that has been trained to walk around seven times over a city that was shot, nothing could go in and nothing could come out? And yet he said, the strategy, keep your swords, walk around. Day one, 
I could see the elder saying, this Joshua, this one that Moses has died, I hope this small boy is not making a fool of us. Let's just obey while we watch. Remember, it's seven days of glory. By the second day, walk around. And he got to a point where he said, listen, in addition to this labor, I've gotten another instruction. You thought you would say, I've gotten another miracle. I've gotten the last one. That on the seventh day, you will walk around the labor of the seven, seven again. And then, the moment that happens, where are the trumpeters? You will sound it. He said, trumpet for a gate, a fence that the Bible says seven chariots could stand on. Even if you collapse it, it's still another fence. You fight a fence with a trumpet. Didn't you go to school? But the Bible says when that happened, I, I could imagine the formation of the armies in heaven. Remember what we discussed. All you see is not all there is. The invisible realm. I could imagine angels standing. And these weak men where they didn't know the power of the word of God. Their obedience were about to reveal that. And when they shouted, Tehila, the Bible says the wall fell down. The walls fell down. Worry, believers, every wall can fall down if the conditions. Don't let Jericho intimidate you. Don't let Goliath intimidate you. Don't let Dagon intimidate you. They all fell down. Whether it is Dagon, whether it is Goliath, whether it is Jericho, even if it is Herod, they all fell down. The things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning so that we, through the comfort and the patience of Scripture, might find hope. This whole sermon tonight is the journey of my life of simple obedience to a great God. Maybe not from the background, maybe not from any human qualification if it were by the normal sequence of life some of us would be nowhere near the queue but in the foolishness of obedience take this step yes sir it is a risk yes sir i rather die with you in shame than to stand in my ego and not make progress if it is you i believe Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Bashka Nakata Branda Katekatos Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and the The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline